a question from Dale Carruthers from the London Free Press. Witnesses reported that the suspect was wearing body armor at the time of his arrest. Can you confirm this? He was wearing a, uh, a vest that uh, appeared to be like body armor. A question from Colin Fries, Globe and Mail. Are the London Police Service working with federal police and prosecutors to lay potential Terrorism Act charges? Yes, we've received uh, several uh, phone calls from our policing partners offering their assistance, uh, including the uh, RCMP, um, and we will be uh, liaising with them in terms of potential terrorism charges, along with uh, liaison with uh, the Ministry of the Attorney General. A question from Adrian from City News, City TV. What can you tell us about the arrest? How was he apprehended at Cherry Hill Mall? Police attended uh, the mall uh, and he was arrested without incident. Another question from Dale Carruthers, just looking for the correct spelling of the suspect's name. Is uh, Nathaniel Veltman. It's V-E-L-T-M-A-N, 20 years of age. Another question from Mike Hagar. Does London have a hate crimes unit? If so, how many investigators are in this unit and are they leading this investigation? Uh, London Police have uh, officers designated as specialists in uh, hate crime. Um, the major crime section is leading the uh, uh, investigation as it's uh, murder, uh, the offenses are murder. Mark Douglas from 680 News again. The mayor called this mass murder. Do police agree with that description? It was the murder of four innocent people. A follow-up from Adrian at City TV. What leads you to believe that this was an intentional attack and that the family was targeted because of their Islamic faith? We gather uh, evidence from a variety of sources and uh, as a result, or at this stage in the investigation, uh, that's our belief is that uh, it was an intentional act and uh, uh, they were targeted because of their Islamic faith. A question from Jacqueline LaBelle, 980 CFPL, for Detective Superintendent Waite. Chief Williams said it's believed that this was an intentional act but can police say whether it was planned well in advance? It was pre-planned uh, and premeditated. Uh, that's why first degree murder charges were laid. Another question from Dale Carruthers from London Free Press. Did the suspect have a knife on him at the time of his arrest? That's part of uh, evidence. Uh, I'm not going to confirm or uh, deny that. From London Free Press, Dale Carruthers again. Is this the largest killing in London's history? I believe it is in terms of uh, the most people uh, murdered at uh, one time. Uh, but I haven't checked into the uh, history, but I believe it is. A question from Colin Freeze. Do you know where the family had been prior to the accident, where they had been and where they were going? Uh, 
Um, no, that's part of the investigation. I'm not going to comment on that. A question from Catherine McDonald, Global News. Can you reassure members of the Muslim community in London that they're safe? I can take that question. Thanks, Catherine. I want to reassure, reassure members of, of the Muslim community and any other uh, community who are targeted by faith that you are safe. And the mayor alluded to London being a safe city, and it is a safe city. I want you to know that uh, all the resources of the London Police Service are dedicated to this investigation, and they'll remain like that until uh, we see it through to its conclusion, however long that takes. We take hate-motivated crime very seriously. We have specially trained investigators who have resources at their disposal uh, from across the department to oversee and to, to run these investigations. And uh, we will do whatever is required to, to keep our community safe. And uh, we stand with, with the community. We understand their concerns. Another question from Mark Douglas at 680 News. Did the suspect truck display signs with hate messages or was material found inside indicating hate motivation? I don't have any information on that. Another question. Uh, were members of the family wearing traditional clothing of any kind? Also, have police ruled out Mr. Beltman having any accomplices? What can you tell Londoners scared that this suspect may not be alone? At this point in the investigation, uh, there is no indication that uh, there were others uh, involved with Mr. Beltman uh, in uh, committing these offenses. Uh, it's part of the investigation and it's, it's still early stages. So that has not been ruled out, but uh, uh, at this stage, uh, we have no evidence to suggest that. A question from Nicole Martin, CHCH News. Were officers alerted to any suspicious behavior or online activity from Veltman in the days or hours prior to the murders? No. From Andrew Lupton, CBC News. Can you provide the ages of the deceased again and state their relation, relationship to each other? Are they members of the same family? They are members of the same family. If you just give me a second. Deceased was a 74 year old female, a 46 year old male, a 44-year-old female and a 15-year-old female. And there was the nine-year-old male who uh, had survived the incident. 